Using the Python program discussed in this video, we can add or delete text, insert formulas and modify the formatting across thousands of Excel workbooks in a computer folder. In other words, we are going to discuss about a Python program that can edit multiple Excel files. This video is divided into three parts. In the first part, I will explain the data we are working with. Second part is about installing Python and OpenPy Excel in the computer. So how Python and OpenPy Excel can skip to the third part, which is writing and executing the program. See this folder called Sales Report 2022. There are 52 Excel workbooks in this folder. And each of this workbook contains the weekly sales report of a company that has business in some of the major Indian cities. Let me open one of these workbooks, week 5. This Excel file called week 5 contains the sales happened in Bombay, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, etc. in the 5th week of 2022. Let me close this workbook. We'll open another one, week 40. These are the sales happened in the same cities but in the 40th week of 2022. And for the 52 weeks of 2022, we have 52 Excel workbooks and all these Excel workbooks have data arranged in the same order. Now about our requirement. We need to make 4 changes in all these 52 Excel workbooks. First one, the text in this cell B6, that is Bombay should be replaced with Mumbai. Then the text in the cell B9, Bangalore should be replaced with Bangalore. The text in the cell C5, amount should be replaced with sales amount. And the fourth one is creating a formula. This cell C17 should display the sum of these sales amounts. Now let's see how to write the Python program which can make these four modifications in all these 52 workbooks within a few seconds. For writing the code, we need Python and OpenPy Excel in the computer. To install Python, open the web browser. Google for download Python. Download Python. From here you can download the latest version of Python. But if you are looking for a specific version, scroll down. See different versions of Python are listed here. Download Python. Click on the setup file to start installation. Install now. Setup was successful means installation complete. In the search bar of Windows, type in Python. Open Python idle. Now we have Python in our computer. Next we need the library called OpenPy Excel. For installing this package, activate the command prompt of Windows. For that, in the search bar of Windows, type in CMD. To install OpenPy Excel, type in pip install OpenPy Excel. Enter. And now we have OpenPy Excel. To get out of the command prompt, type in exit, enter. Now that we have Python and OpenPy Excel in our computer, let's write the program for editing Excel files. In the Windows search bar, type in Python, open Python idle. To open the file editor, file, new file. Let's save this file before writing the code. File, save. We'll save this file in the desktop of the computer. Type in the file name. We'll name this file as edit excel files. Save. First line of the code. Import OS. OS is a Python module which will help us to interact with the operating system of the computer. Next line, import OpenPy Excel. OpenPy Excel is a third party Python library which will help us to read and edit Excel files. Folder equal apostrophe. Here we have to specify the folder path of the directory containing Excel files. 
This is the folder containing the Excel files to edit. To copy the folder path, click on the address bar, right click, copy, paste the copied path here, right click, paste, apostrophe. Now the instructions to open all files one by one and make the changes we want. This for loop is to execute the following instructions in each file in the folder specified here. This if statement will make sure that only Excel files are processed. That is the files with .xlsx extension. This statement will create a file path using the folder path and file name specified here. That file is then loaded into a variable called book. The active worksheet of the processed workbook is then saved into a variable called sheet. Now we have to specify the cells in this sheet where we want to make changes. The text Bombay is in the cell B6. To replace Bombay with Mumbai, sheet, open square bracket, apostrophe, address of the cell which we want to modify, B6, apostrophe, Closing square bracket, space, equal, space, apostrophe. Now the text to replace with Mumbai, apostrophe. To replace Bangalore in the cell B9 with Bengaluru, B9, to replace amount with sales amount. Type in the address of the cell, C5, text to replace with sales amount. Fourth requirement is inserting a formula in the cell C17, which will add the values in the cells from C6 to C16. For that, address of the cell where we want to insert the formula, C17. Now the formula to add the values in the cells from C6 to C16. Equal, some function, open parentheses, address of the first cell in the data range, C6, colon, address of the last cell in the data range, C16, close parentheses, apostrophe. If we execute the program like this, the result will be displayed in general format. To display the result in number format, we need to add one more line. Number format, as you can see all these changes will be made in the copy of the actual file. To update the actual file at the end of each iteration, book dot, save, open parentheses, file, close parentheses. Let me close this workbook. To execute this program, run, run module, the program executed without any errors. Let me open a workbook. Before executing the program, the cell B6 had the text Bombay. Now it has become Mumbai, Panglo has become Bengaluru, amount has been replaced with sales amount. The cell C17 is now having a formula which displays the total of sales amounts. We'll close this workbook. Let me open one more. Week 49. Mumbai, Bengaluru, sales amount, total of sales amounts. The same changes have been made in all these 52 Excel workbooks here.